Hello, and welcome to the VTC instructional series on Anime Studio Pro 5. In this movie, we'll go through real quickly what we'll be covering in this program, and we're also going to do a little bit of a comparison on the Pro versus Standard so you get an idea of what those differences are. When I first came across this program, because it had the word anime associated with it, I assumed that it was strictly for creating anime type of animations that come out of Japan. It's a cool style, but I need much more than that. Well, I'm here to tell you that Studio Pro 5 can create whatever you want at whatever level of sophistication you want very easily and quickly for the Pro environment. Really, the look is totally limited or only limited by what you want to do with it. You can have all sorts of wonderful types of styles with this program. The Pro Series has some very cool professional features along with it. One thing we do cover as well is a little free piece of software that's designed to plug in to Anime Studio Pro 5 called Papagayo. It's a wonderful little add-on program because it helps you automate the somewhat tedious task of lip-syncing with audio to your animations. That is worth its weight in gold. If you're coming into the Studio Pro tutorial series here, from Anime Standard and think, I don't, I don't know if this series is really right for me. I don't have the Pro, but I might want to. Is it worth my time to go through this? And the answer is most definitely yes, because everything that is in the Anime Standard Edition is also in the Pro version, but it's a great way to see those extra features that the Pro version has, so you get a good idea of how you could increase your tool set with it. The pro level version here does produce high quality animations that are suitable for everything from broadcast to web to film. I'll be your presenter. I'm Mark Bremer and I do use this software and other softwares professionally virtually every day. So as we go through these series, we're talking about real world applications. I throw out some tips and tricks that are kind of born of experience. So my pain translates directly into your gain. I do like to set these up in the context of real-world applications instead of simply pointing at tools and saying, well, you click here to do this. That really doesn't help anybody, and I know you want to see how to use this quickly within your workflow. I do completely support these tutorials, so if you're getting through them and you've got a question about something or you need a little more explanation on something, feel free to email me at tutorials at markbremer.com and I'll get back in touch just as soon as I can and help you figure out whatever needs figuring. Well, let's compare the Pro versus Standard real briefly so we get an idea of the differences. So if you are coming from the Standard version, we will be talking about some things that aren't part of your tool set. The Pro version has a very, very strong line of vector drawing tools and drawing features, including ways to quickly deploy perspective to your animations, to control line width, things like that. The Pro Series also has a much stronger layer feature tool set that allows you to quickly add depth to defocus things in the background. And if we're covering some things that you may not be familiar with because you're just getting into animation a little bit, don't worry about it. I show you completely how that works as we get into some examples. Additionally, the Pro level also has some very cool layer features. One of those is particles, where you can create explosions, smoke effects like that, super fast. There's also 3D layers. There are some other ones that are just wonderful to work with, especially in the Pro environment. Also, there are many nice things thrown into the Pro version, like style painting, where you can create styles of illustration or animation and save those styles and quickly deploy them to new sequences that you may be working on. There's also script support, so if you've got predictable motion or something that you want to repeat or create some randomized motion, you can do that with scripts very easily. Probably the biggest difference, I shouldn't say the biggest, but one of the most significant ones is that the Pro version does support audio so that you can edit audio and lip sync with your animations very quickly. Also, for those of you that will be creating animations for use in the web environment, the Pro Series does export to the Flash or .swift file format, the .swf, so this is a quick way to create very sophisticated animations. Instead of using the good Flash toolset, this is simply a faster way to do that. 
line quality is great when you export from this program. With that, let's take a look at the scope. So you get an idea of what we're getting into as we start moving through this series. Since it is the pro version, I do come at this from a pro angle. Now, this isn't to say that we use uh, big words and try to confuse you with, with how smart the pros are. I use very plain spoken language to describe what's going on. I'm assuming that you're probably a professional wanting to get up to speed with a new tool set. I do cover some advanced tips and tricks using Anime Studio Pro that allow you to quickly deploy this software into your pipeline and workflow and start using it successfully. If you're not a pro and you're a hobbyist that just loves to get into this, or maybe you're a student that's just getting into animation and uh, this is one of the first two-dimensional software packages you're working with for this, although we do a little three-dimensional in here, this will help you get up to speed animating very quickly. And we also throw out some things in the pro world that you need to have in the back of your mind always, some production and animation considerations as well. I also want to be very clear about what this program is not. This is not an animation course, but it is about how to animate with Anime Studio Pro. The difference between those two is, is that I won't be covering storyboard storylines. We do do a little bit of storyboarding with some of the tool sets we've got, but we don't talk about storylines. We don't talk about how to create mood and ambiance. We don't talk about pacing and those types of things that are part of an animation course. We do very specifically get into how to use this program to fulfill some of those things that you would do for a normal animation type of series. So with that, let's go ahead and hop off here and start our next movie and take a look at some of the new additions that are part of the Anime Studio Pro 5 software.